These were the barren wastelands left after the water eradicated Earth that first time. This indeed was an episode that took place on the Earth. However, we have the potential of being back in this barren landscape. We are aware of this. What do you feel about how the weather is corrupted? What do you feel about how we are being integrated into systems through the AI human title technology? Is irrelevant who leads what war. It's what they're exposing during wartime that we think is important to you. Hello, my beautiful darlings. This is not what I expected at all. Um, I was just laying listening to my new healing pool meditation um, that's just gone out a couple of days ago. The one that I promised you that I would do, the healing pool where the sentients come in, manage your energy and then they go out and go to get various elixirs. I've had some elixirs brought to me today and I feel unbelievably relaxed and calm and really at one with myself and I normally refer to these as no days where I just cut off all connections and I just sit and rest in my own energy. However, a certain angel has got other plans. I'm really on quite a tired day and so I was going to have complete cut off and as I was meditating, I had this most beautiful experience in the pool. It was incredible. And then this most stunning face came down to me, level with me, laying in the pool and said, please speak. So I thought you meant in the meditation. And then I got my symbol for push the button, which means record. Um, this angel is surrounded by purple light. I was going to be sitting in my office. I've got this most beautiful new product that I bought, right? And it just creates like northern lights and clouds and it's absolutely fantastic. I was going to sit up in the office, have all these beautiful colours and then change the colour to whatever angel was going to connect with me. It's purple. So I don't know at the moment if this is Metatron or Jeremiah. Um, I'll have to work out when I get there. So I've come out of my meditation and it is beautifully welcomed. I don't know if they understand how tired I am today, but let's see how we go. OK, so for people who have just come on this channel, please don't think it's just like <laughs> a unprofessional. Oh, my God, is this it? They choose when it's right. They have the words and I've tried to stop it, but I keep getting all of these messages in my head. Um, so I'm just going to go with it. OK, so um, I'll see you in a bit. I'm half in there anyway, so it's not going to take too long. Um, just pardon the... I don't care, I keep it real. At the end of the day, if this is how it's done, it's done. No bells and whistles. So let's see what happens, OK? <coughs> so what I'm going to do before I start, because my voice is already starting to go weird. This has been brilliant as well. It's made me do too much. Incredibly, um, this feels like I am looking upon the frequency and energy of Metatron. Who is working very hard to bring people into the light, if you like. He is assisting crystal children. And trying to bring them into a more spiritual way of being whilst on the earth plane. He also, I've met him before as the scribe of God, when I have been shown how to create soul contracts. He also shows himself to me in two types of energy. One is, as I can only describe as perhaps Dumbledore, a wise man in scribe halls of the halls of learning. Um, and I've also seen him in action in warrior mode, and that is when I see him younger and fitter. Um, father time, indeed. Um, he's just referred to himself as father time. He's standing on a plateau at the moment, allowing me to introduce you to him. Um, unfortunately, I said he was a made up name when he first introduced himself to me. 
and if you are an advert I, I, I ad can't quite mind words because I can see this symbolic stuff sorry if you have followed me you will know um, that I refer to him as a <laughs> transformer until I realized he actually did exist it's very much part of the new age following of frequencies created no doubt to guide us in these times of ascension he also is beautifully described and has a major part and role in my book Earthwalkers which I'm now being told I must continue to push and persevere for this to be out as soon as possible which I will it's very hard doing that when you have so much other stuff to do on the energy that I have just saying for those who are watching this for the first time I am not trancing anything I am not being possessed by anything I am merely sharing with you as I walk with the angel realms, okay? So I am just showing you what I'm being shown, what I'm being told. Sometimes the language will flow very quickly because I'm using claircognance and clairsentience where I just know and feel what they want me to say, okay? It's very much like a spirit connection when I stand on stage and bring messages from the spirit world, but it's much more profound and these messages are for humankind. Metatron to me is a very strong pulsating energy. As I blink now, I see bright purple, bright purple, mixing to an indigo colour, mixing to almost like a Cadbury's purple colour on the chocolate. Um, this is his frequency. You may experience also... He's telling me I'm doing this introduction because some of you don't know who he is. You may feel a bit tiny bit heavy on your chest area around your heart chakra because I can feel this at the moment and I have acknowledged that this is connected with him. He works very much with love. He's a very overwhelming energy if you're not used to it. However, you can get used to it the more you connect with him. Many light workers um, are being visited by him and are feeling um, the urge to invoke him because he's very predominant in this current age. The age of Aquarius. Bringing in the collective, bringing us into a consciousness of compassion and love, awareness, knowledge of oneself. As he stands on this plateau, it's like a big rock. He's, he's putting his arm back and showing me which looks like a land devastated. It's just muddy and dark and rainy and barren. Um, and I don't quite know why he's showing me that. So let me just walk into his energy. And why, how I do that is I visualize him, pardon the hiccups and the, and the possibly burping. And the, this is what happens when there's a high frequency hitting my upper divine chakras okay from the heart up so please bear with me again if you've not watched me i visualize taking the hand of the angel and that means my intention is is to connect and repeat back everything that was brought to me visually through my third eye through my ears smell sense whatever they want to bring me it's just a higher way of blending just like i used to with the spirit people Definitely you, will, might, you might feel energy around your chest area that feels a bit restrictive. If it continues, acknowledge your, your spirit guide and just say this is a bit too heavy or acknowledge with the angel frequency. And they will release it just a little bit. Thank you. Golden light, golden light, pushing through that beautiful heart chakra. Opening your energy up and out. I've never been told to bring introductions and tiny little lessons to you but that is the complete picture resonance of metatron he's like a father energy you just want to get be cuddled by him embraced by him and let him lead you to the way forward thank you 
whoever did that is acknowledging presence within the room. I don't know if you heard that or not, but it was in the ether to my right. These were the barren wastelands left after the water eradicated Earth that first time. This indeed was an episode that took place on the Earth. This has already been spoken to and vocalised by Nicola concerning how the planet was eradicated of the free will directives that didn't go to our plan. So indeed, you human title Noah and the arc as the story but actually it's documented in science geographically we are aware of a mass water of a water mass throughout the planet back in this day millions of years ago how old are we then it doesn't answer And so the facts of how humankind will escalate is not in this decade or the next. However, we have the potential of being back in this barren landscape. We are aware of this. And that is why we have taken action. And as my brothers and sisters have already spoken with you via this vessel, Nicola, we are trying to educate you in improving this planet. Now we talk of collectives and we talk of armies of light and many other many other human vocabulary that describes this essence. However, I need to direct my energy towards you, the individual. Some are overwhelmed with feeling they may be having to be part of a collective. They may have to believe in a certain essence frequency source. Some believe that they are not worthy of connecting to this source. Do not place your thought processes through this ego structure. Just sit with oneself, as my sister Ariel will encourage, sitting in nature away from technology, turning one's to phone off, turning away anything that creates EMF or pollution in your body. Find yourself grounded in nature and listen to yourself. What do you feel about plastics in the oceans? What do you feel about how animals are treated? What do you feel about how the weather is corrupted? What do you feel about how we're being integrated into systems through the AI human title technology? You should not Always just listen to the people that are creating themselves as speakers on this online presence. By all means, we do agree and acknowledge that there are portal mediums bringing words from us. However, you sit with what is being told to you. You must do what feels right for you. The word feel is a very deep, progressive word. Feeling can be on two or even a number of spectral dimensions. When we feel as humans, we connect with our hope and consciousness and ego emotions on how we feel. We are having a good day. We are having a bad day. We are finding our terrain mountainous, we are finding our terrain arid, we are finding our terrain forward, an oasis, we are finding our way forward in abundance wherever you may stand, most of you stop at this level of feeling. When we ask you to feel, we ask for you to push every thought process, let's talk of perhaps the oceans as just an aside from anything and something to project our energy and thought process on. Imagine the oceans while sitting in your natural form amongst nature. 
push the thought of plastics being eaten by our creatures in the ocean. Picture them floating on the surface, full of pollution, unable to survive. Push this imagery, thoughts, feelings around the essence of what I'm describing down into your solar plexus, which is the space that we create above where your navel shall be, the lead that gave you life in the first place. And do you also know that the silver band, the esoteric cord that connects us to the divine comes from the solar plexus? Do you know that this silver esoteric cord is taken from you once you are here on this earth plane and we know that your soul and consciousness is safe within your physical body? It is only when potentially you are coming back at home to us that the esoteric cord may be thrown out to guide you back. In short, all of our guides, our celestial guides, our ancestors, our masters, our galactics are all here with a safety rope so that you shall not ever be lost in birth in death. Now when you feel this feeling of something that doesn't sit right with you, you perhaps will feel the energy around the solar plexus below the chest of heaviness of not feeling right. Potentially if you push yourself into that deepest digress, I'm not digressing, you push yourself down into the deep dimensions of feeling this imagery perhaps of imagining a whale floating on the surface due to pollutants or due to mankind how does this make you feel within listen to your gut listen to your intuition feel your solar plexus feel your heart chakra that is how you feel not the quick dramatic results of the flashlights of emotions that pass through your mind on a daily basis. Perhaps you may feel alarm, pain, distress or a feeling of wanting to do something concerning this. So on your individual paths, you might even just on a tiny little level think, I shall pick up pollution that's on the beaches of Gaia. If I swim and see something on the surface, I will take it. If I choose to dive under the surface and I see something that doesn't belong in the sea, I shall take it. Now you as an individual can start feeling every essence of the planet, whether it be leaders that you do not agree with, structures, organisations, the man-made tiers of power, that signify how we live our lives, which we know is not in equilibrium. Sit with yourselves and feel how everything that runs through your emotional status is, and then do your little part to do it. For if you do all sit with oneself and you all feel the essence of what is taking place around you on a material basis, then you will feel inclined to do just one little thing. Now, if we had a million, two million, three million of you doing exactly the same thing, this will bring balance. This will make an impact on how we create this planet for our future generations. I do recall in one transgression that... <clears throat> I do recall in one pardon translation through my sister Ariel talking of the change being made, signing what you refer to as peti petitions. What can one person do, you may ask yourself, if you all trust the process and go with your intuition, then there'll be a million people signing. 
will be 2 million people signing. We are slowly as part of the age of Aquarius bringing collective in of speakers upon the screens that you gaze upon that will sow the seeds of your growth and sow the seeds of change until our allotted leaders are brought to adulthood and can start taking over from the leaders that we know are not creating equilibrium of humankind. So this requires patience, divine timing, moderation, temperance. And during this time, we can be the best we possibly can by exercising benevolence, by exercising happiness, by looking after your neighbour, by looking after your community, just doing a tiny little thing that could possibly bring some happiness to some other person. You already know from our other transmissions that you have been sending love to the afflicted parts of the planet. You have no idea how much an intention set from your physical body can actually create physical phenomena. Thus we talk of the butterfly effect that you've spoken of for many years. That one wave of energy coming from one person that has listened to their intuition joins with millions of other waves of individuals that have taken upon themselves to listen to how they feel about what affects the planet. Whether it be the waves of energy in the planet, who leads it, who runs it. Don't focus on the tyranny, join the strength of benevolence, the kindness. And with all these beautiful children that are being raised now, I have a major... All the children being born now, I have the beauty to change, advance and whisper my encouragement to bring their natures to a more calmful and peaceful outlook as opposed to fighting power, tyranny and financial endeavours. There will always be these types of and this type of energy on the planet however we are eradicating this very very slowly it's very much like the human emotional situation and ego where everyone wants things yesterday or now this is a very slow progress and has been happening now for nearly a hundred years gregorian and we continue to bring this very slow change into humankind. I may seem to be repeating what my brothers are saying to you, but I'm asking you individually to take it upon yourself to see what change you can make. It doesn't have to be a vast change. You don't have to join certain groups. But as this beautiful collective comes together in this joint consciousness during the age of Aquarius, we can affect that change quicker. Please also be aware that we have to be very careful concerning the AI age which is upon us. Very, very slowly it's been incorporated in everything we touch that creates EMF, digital frequencies. Everything that we look upon and gaze through will give us some subliminal messages. By sitting in your own energy, by embracing that nature, you will start to feel what is right and wrong and what you need to and can't can expose yourself to. The AI energy is going to create almost a benevolent energy to embrace you, to entice you in. We do know now that this will be at the touch of a button. It's already started in the last 20 years, but very much now it's going to be a more salient point that AI will be incorporated into everything you do. It will try and take away your expressions, your conversations, your feelings, your emotions. Allow yourself to be responsible for who you are as a human being. Have boundaries with the intelligence that's being brought forward. Do not allow this system to take over your expression. Do not allow this system to take over everything that you have known from the beginning of your birth for ease. These AI systems are going to be progressive with one that is lazy, with one that wishes to find shortcuts, one that wishes to find 
a quicker way forward in their life by using something which does not have feeling but will create the image of having that empathy and feeling. And of course, anything new and shiny brought to humankind, anything that seems to blaze through the boredom of having to perhaps enunciate yourself, perhaps bring expression to some written paraphernalia that you may have to create in some demanded class. Remember, they are taking the essence of you and saying, we can help. They are saying, let us do this for you, because again, it's a subliminal control to bring us into the exact same collective that they want us all to be in. We see this and we have to let it transpire, as always, with free will. But we can obviously speak with you. We can obviously ask you to look within yourself to see if this is right, to see if you wish to participate in this. Friends, friendly, helpful, understanding, being heard. These will all be the points that AI will pull upon. They will attract you with this. We can help you. We can make it easier. We can befriend you. We can realise what you like to look upon on your screens. We can monitor and register your desires and create whatever you wish in the material world to be pushed on your screens in front of you. Be aware. For as you've already been told thus forth, this is all about bringing the herds into this submissive energy where you will trust these benevolent forces known as AI. And yet there will be a time when the corruption will be incorporated into this, just again for mass control. But just like everything else, have you noticed that all of the things have been used to try and complete this control in energy that they wish to go towards are being exposed? We are creating mindful leaders, associates and people with voices that listen to their own intuition to actually question things that have been incorporated into your lives. We have then exposed them and now we find many of them putting these public apologies up, putting these we surrender and acknowledge that we have experimented on or exploited humans with our control, with our technology, with what we tell you we, that you must and should have. But every single one soul that I connect with who wishes to work from the light, wishes to work from their own source of intelligence, their own source of spiritual, psychic, whatever word you wish to bring to their development. For you that wish to ascend to our fifth dimension, fifth dimension being, there are multitudes of dimensions that we can bring you to. But for now, Humans can just absorb that the fifth dimension will bring us into a stronger and more compassionate level of light around the planet. It is down to you as an individual what you embrace, what you take from every person that you listen to, either on the screens or in person. You are responsible for the future of this planet. For one will have the same intent as what we're aiming for, millions will. And my beautiful children, who I bring forth now and bring the light to, they must be encouraged. They must not be shot down by the flames of egotistical doubt, fear, of a celestial frequency that exists the fact that they can communicate with their ancestors. Do you see this in the indigenous species on this planet? They don't condemn their youngers for connecting to the divine. They encourage, they teach the legacy of their knowledge of the divine kingdoms. As I walk now, I show Nicola Every step I take is full of wildflowers, fauna, life, wildlife. 
And now I ask you now to look upon the spirit totem of the deer. Some of you will see this as a totem to valid validate my transmission with you today. You will all perhaps hear the ringing of our frequency in your ear as you listen to this transmission or use your screens to find the meaning of the spirit totem of the deer and this is a message to the ones who wish to embrace it. Read what this beautiful animal represents and take this into your soul. Feel. Now I hope that you have a different understanding of this word. Go beyond the ego, go beyond the emotion, go beyond your thought processes and feel within your solar plexus, feel within the core of your soul the very life essence that's created by our esoteric cords at birth. You are always connected to us, you are all, as perhaps in biblical terms, our children. Please don't think this is something from the Bible. Please don't think this is a man-made religious concept or cult that you must connect with the divine for you to ascend. Just a good heart, benevolence, kindness, looking after one another, having your say, doing something to help a person, an animal, a child. That is you ascending to where we need you to go. Highlighting perhaps shadow parts of yourself that need to be eradicated. Looking within your heart to feel if there are any negative attributes to your ego system that need to be eradicated. Connect with us. If you find it hard, use what we've created through artists and other light workers. Use our cards to connect with us. Use our imagery to connect with us. Most of you just have to verbally ask for us and we are there waiting for your permission for us to come and change your trajectory. As I walk now, we're in an abundance of life. We're in abundance of new growth. We're in abundance of mountains growing, streams flowing, clear, pure. And this is what we wish for you. Use Gaia, use Ariel to assist you in feeling the heartbeat of this planet. Seven, eight, three. We will resolutely continue bringing messages from this celestial frequency. We never imagined for one moment that we would channel our intelligence, our sentience, our messages through vessels such as Nicola. However, we've come to the stage that awakening needs to be created. We need to now tell you the time is nigh for you to be responsible for your own spirituality. The benefits of this is that your human life down here will ease. You won't feel hardship, obstacles, differences of opinion, harshness, bullying, bullying. You won't feel them as hard as you would feeling that you are standing alone. We are here to be your, as Nicola puts it, invisible army. Your life process will be so much easier. Where these problems hit your ego system and you feel that they're overwhelming you. We bring a softness to all of your experiences. We give you the value of seeing the bigger picture. We will bring you synchronicity and signs and show you that trusting in the process of everything to do with the source of universe and all of our different frequencies will bring you to a karmic end. 
And even if you don't see the karmic end or the repercussions of what's happened to you from a lesser soul, be mindful that Jeremiah will be there to bring them to their senses and help them to acknowledge what shadows they actually did create when they were down on this human plane. Nicola has just asked me within our own consciousness, what is the message? The message is be individual. Because by being individual, you will create a whole land of light. Because each of you, once you listen to your soul, once you allow yourself to listen to nature and connect with us, you will be part of the whole body of change, the whole body of light which we're trying to implement now. And my brothers and sisters will come to you and they will show you various visions, whisper suggestions to make your life, life easier, to allow it to flow with abundance, serenity. We will try our very best to bring you the most easiest concepts to assist you on your path. We are aware that the, as Nicola would call them, the powerful elite the people that are trying to channel us into these streams of compliance, control, manipulation, are bringing you into a lower feeling of existence. People wanting to stamp out, people wanting to cry out that everything is wrong. This sort of crying out will not affect the planet, but you exuding your own personal power, you connecting to a source that is stronger than any human power on this earth plane, will slowly start to eradicate these people. They will be exposed, as I've repeatedly, through my other brothers and sisters, have told you. Also, Julianus, who speaks with Nicola, says that you have to, once a thorn is in your side, release that thorn, and this creates pain. It has to heal. The trauma of that thorn being within that flesh has to acknowledge itself as a trauma. It has to heal. This can only be done in calm, serenity and tranquility. It can't be done with this futility of rage and anger, arguing amongst oneself. See how your community lies within itself. Defensive, argumentative. The power play is in force at the moment. And the power play will continue. And yes, there are inferences and influences that are pushed into all of the online creators that we have chosen. There are robotic, there are AI influences creating rage, demeaning speakers, demeaning light workers. The person actually doesn't exist that brings this hate, this anger, this frustration into communal areas online. Is it on? Yes, it's online. A press of a button in a corporate house of greed, anger, hate and power presses one button. And this aggression, this frustration, this nastiness, this darkness, infiltrates through the electronic systems, arousing this anger, defiance, injustice within you. And all that does is help them incorporate you into their flock of darkness. Be individual, be you. Seek the light, be the light, spread the light. And whilst you're doing that, my main vocation, if you like, for being here is to bring our darling indigo and crystal children up to a wonderful state of acknowledgement that they will lead our planet. They will lead in their individual countries and they'll be completely aware of what is wrong and right. And yes, there will be a time where the AI will be called upon There will be demands, 
to see how it really is being worked, how much it is influencing humankind. And it will be exposed, just like all the other things that are taking place at the moment. And be mindful, it is irrelevant who leads what war. It's what they're exposing during wartime that we think is important to you. We know it's important. We are removing the thorn. So please, as always, send love to the places of conflict. Just concentrate on our sisters, the seraphim, riding down in their fiery glory to bring back the souls of this resistance to peace and know that these wars are taking place. It matters not of the intent of the leader, it is what is being exposed, eradicated and diminished during these times of war. The next thing to take place to bring power back to the elites is to create weather systems that bring crop failure in vital countries. Potentially, we could then have a food shortage. They have used leaders and wars to give us excuses to not provide home shelter food for us. And this will continue. Look out for the crop failure signatures that will take place. Fruits. Seeds, crops. And again, take it upon yourself. How do you feel about this? Do you wish to grow your own vegetation, your own food? Do you wish to have it as a hobby that will relax you? Again, allowing you to feel this raised vibration of contentment and tranquility. The water systems that we spoke of before, we were trying to warn Nicola about the tainted water system. However, she didn't go deep enough to find out the exact dimensions of what was being caused in her local area. However, there are ramifications of what is in your water systems. And with this in mind, we either ask for you to go to pure sources of water in natural raw land or think about purifying what is created in your body, what is consumed within your body. Filtration systems may be more effective as they can be exceptionally. God, hang on a minute, guys. Say that again, please. Infiltration systems for you to consume water as you are partly made of water, which is the conduit for the spirit world and helps us to connect to you from the source. It is a conduit of our energy. And with this in mind, science, the powers that create the water sources, may try and create things in the water flow that close this down. By bringing energy enzymes, is it the word enzymes? Um, what's he showing me? It's like little wiggly things, so... Oh. One minute, I can't get it, guys. Hang on. Lost it a bit because he's going about water again. So I don't know if he's talking about sodium chloride. There is something that is not great for you in the water. Um, I'm going to say, in, if I was in meditation now looking at him, there's gold flickering in my eyes now, which is incredible. That's angel energy as well. Gold. If you see gold, you're attracted to gold. It's part of it, okay? Likewise with silver. What I think he's trying to say is there is too much, in, there are too many impurities in the water that we drink from the tap, okay? So again, I feel he's saying, take it upon yourselves to decide if you want to consume that or not and put it in your body. I feel that he's talking about hormonal influences. I feel potentially that we could end up being can't believe I'm going to say this. There could even be issues with fertility. There could be 
hormonal imbalances in the male structure I was talking about. I would really think carefully about what you drink. Your main conduit to source is water, right? And the powers that be and the darker ones most probably know this or they feel that they want to let's feed them this because that will keep them at bay. Can you understand what I'm trying to say? So I don't think I expressed it well enough. But he's now holding his hand under a water spring, which comes from mountains. OK, so I think he's trying to say, think about your water source. Um, I don't know what they're putting in it. He's now saying colloidal silver. If you look at what that eradicates, part of that is in the water system. I've no clue what that means. I'm sure someone will know. There's so many learned people that connect in this tribe. So strong, such a beautiful, merciful energy. He's like Jeremiah, he's just full of such Magnificence, kindness. If you wish to develop your abilities more, then connect with this wonderful angel who has been implemented in a more forefront way um, from his beginnings to be one of the main men to bring spiritual consciousness about personal consciousness personal spiritual development you know you don't need you don't need lessons classes buy this buy that you need just either music frequency or even if not that just sit in a park somewhere sit in nature he's an audience sit in nature and just feel your what's going on in your life Feel what you see about or get exposed to. Feel it. Do you want to do something about it? Then do it. It's not about creating armies and rebellions. It's about you being responsible for you sending out light. Willing to listen and invoke even if you don't believe in it, willing yourself to just go beyond perhaps the beginnings of your religions, go back, you know, to everything that's been indoctrined into you since you were a child, eradicating that and just being in this element of bliss. What would you like me to do? How do I feel about this? What shall I do about it? How can I share this with others? OK, let me get back in. We do not want you to be, a, we do not want you to live your incarnation with questioning everything around you. We do not wish for you to get paranoid. We do not wish for you to not trust any process that is continuing. We are not saying that if you don't connect with the divine that your life will be harsh. Absolutely not. What we are saying and trying to educate you is there is a source of information, sentience and ways forward that can assist you to be more awake, to be more responsible for your community, responsible for your planet. We will instill tiny whispers of turn left here, go forward, write to this person, connect with this person, say your truth. Go pick up litter, whatever it is on whatever basis. Could be the most smallest thing, giving a bag to charity, to a big thing where you start leading community in something beautiful. Whatever you're capable of that makes you happy and makes you feel good about what you've actually done. We need to keep ourselves connected on a human level because this AI that he's talking of is going to become part of the lazy man's dream don't be lazy be mindful connect yourself to mother earth 
connect yourself to source and the divine and stay awake. Don't be the sheep that gets penned in with the others because they're too lazy to feel for themselves. I feel that I'm coming away from his frequency because I feel I'm talking more. He's kind of imparting it, but it's not direct, if that makes sense. So I feel he may be um, pulling back because they're aware of my energy. I have no idea how long I've been speaking for. I also can feel this lift from my solar plexus and heart chakra area. So that tells me that I feel that they're now left for the day. I have no idea what the message was. I really hope it comes through as um, understandable. He's standing back on the rock where we began and he's got his arms open wide and the whole place is just and there's sheep, loads of lambs. There's loads of lambs, I don't know what that's about. Um, I don't know if he wants us to also look at that as a spirit totem, the deer, I remember that now. But he's showing a land full of abundance and trees and brooks and streams and lakes and beautiful fauna and plants and flowers. And he's just reaching out and saying, we can create this. We can be this future. The gold is flickering in my eyes. Still got the purple energy. These will be signs to know what frequency you're in. It's like tick, 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 gold, which I've never experienced before. But then I've never connected with Metatron before on this level with you. Um... Is there anything else you need me to say? Because the flickering's continuing. Just holding my hands. Try not to cry. He's just raised his hands my hands to his lips and then he's just turned me around gently i think he's asking me to just come back to my energy so i'm just going to be aware of my fingers i'm going to wiggle my toes i'm going to visually i've got my grounding flip-flops on <laughs> i'll show you those another time i'm just imagining that my Grounders are now connected back to the earth with green roots. I'm following the imagery of going up my body, moving my knees, moving my thighs, my tummy. <sighs> now we're breathing and I now say thank you for this transmission. I please ask now that all of my chakra points of communication are closed down. And just open for any necessary thing to help me or to heal me or anybody around me. I thank you for bringing your connection to me today. And I please ask now that I am grounded onto the earth plane and can go about my normal business. Right, the flickering is now stopped. I've imagined as we've sh I've shown you in the soul school. I've closed down my divine chakra, my crown chakra, third eye, throat, heart. Base one was open, I need to just close it down a bit. They're not closed properly, they're just not wide open for me to be in fairyland, <laughs> like for the next day or whenever. Unbelievable when this happens, isn't it? Not when I'm sitting up and it's professional in an office. No, 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 no. They have to. They have to do it when I'm in a meditation. I've still got the flashes of gold around the corner of my eyes. 56 minutes. Wasn't that the last time? I'm so sorry. Oh, my God, this is so unprofessional. Oh, shut up, Nicola. I don't even call myself Nicola. Can you believe that? It's nearly an hour. Listen, 
take on board this. You're mostly going to have to listen to it a few times, make notes, put them in your soul journals, listen to what he's got to say. He's the most beautiful, gentle giant of an angel. Absolutely incredible. Um, but he's happy. He's, he's He was walking. He was changing all of this wetlands, barren, horrible, muddy, grey wetlands into the most beautiful, colourful, vibrant energy. So they are all working towards us living in that environment and creating that for our children. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below. And um, I think one of the main messages is please be individual and be responsible for your own spirituality. And I'll help you get there in every way I can. With that, bless you all. Um, please, apparently you've got to like these videos. Um, to help the algorithms, I don't know. Um, subscribe if you're just watching. Join the tribe. Until the next time, love you all.